Love is patient, love is kind, and is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails, but if there are gifts of prophecy, they will be done away. If there are tongues, they will cease. If there is knowledge, it will be done away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will be done away. When I was a child, I used to speak like a child, think like a child, reason like a child. When I became a man, I did away with childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I will know fully, just as I also have been fully known. But now, faith, hope, love, abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. I want to start by thanking everyone for coming today to celebrate TJ and Megan on their big day. I met TJ about six years ago while in college and we instantly became great friends. Some of my favorite memories from college were me and TJ hanging out in the garage, looking at all the work we had to do on our cars, and most of the time not doing any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to congratulate TJ and Megan on their big day and wish you a long and happy life together. Today is a very special day. Today is the day that I pledge my body, mind, and soul to you. As we come to almost eight years of memories, it amazes me how so many in our lives saw this day coming before it was even a thought in our minds. You met me as a young, dumb kid driving around an old truck that you say you hated. Even though we missed the simpler times of those memories, I wouldn't want to be standing anywhere else today. As the years have passed and the truck is long gone, the memories and love that we share have only grown stronger. We've been through so much together and worked through it all. I've made a life of picking the right tool for the job, and I know with all my heart and soul there is no better pick for my best friend, lover, and wife than you. You keep me grounded and sensible in this crazy life. You always support me even when I ask for your advice and disregard it. In return, I promise to always be your rock to lean on no matter the circumstance. I promise to love you forever and always. I promise to always keep my composure so you always have to guess my emotions. I know how much you are doing that. I promise to always read your mind in the middle of the day and bring the iced coffee that you needed that day. I promise to always be that cheerleader in the corner because I have faith that you can do anything. I promise we will always be together, together and never be separated by anything, even miles anymore. I promise to always let it go first even when I know I'm right. I promise to always be my hilarious self even when you don't find it amusing. <laughs> Most importantly, I promise to be the, the best husband every day even though it won't compare to the wife you will be. They may be called vows or promises, but I assure you, I see them as privileges that I'm honored to get to have. In this life, there's so much anxiety and uncertainty for everyone's future, but you can always be certain that I love you, Megan. 
Timothy Gerald, I have to catch my breath, believe this is real, that I am marrying my true love, the one my heart desires. You and I both know how indecisive I can be at times. I simply don't like to make decisions. But if there is one decision in my life that I know is the right one, it's to spend the rest of my life with you. Family sitting in the audience today will tell you, you're not the man I described as a little girl. City boy, seven feet tall, gym junkie, and a powerful businessman. My mother, after a quick chuckle and a roll of the eyes, would assure me, those attributes are what makes a man human, not a husband. When he respects your body, soul, and independence, he values your intelligence, puts you before himself, feels like home, can make you smell at inferior times, supports you even when you're being overcome by self-doubt, and sees us to guide you for success, he's treasure. Timothy, you're my treasure. From prom dress to wedding dress, you have demonstrated nothing less than pure love, strength, willingness to compromise and adapt when necessary and acceptance for my soul. Our love is wise, not as juvenile as when we were 16, not as mature as it will be years from now. So my decision to share my life with you is one I make willingly and with complete faith in the love that brought us together, a love that is strong and relentless. There is no other place I want to be than right here, right now, committing to you in our life until we cease to exist. I can think of nothing more special or precious in this world than the two of us standing up here in front of our family and friends, declaring to each other and the world that we will love, support, and honor each other forever. I promise from this day forward, you will always know the degree of my love for you. Not just for this moment, not for an hour or day or year, I will always love you. Through all hardship, darkness, and pain, I vow to kiss you every day with love and devotion, that each kiss we share now will be a remembrance of our wedding vows, our joy, and everything we share. I will walk together with you. I promise to continue educating myself on automotive jargon, because let's face it, nothing is more adorable, adorable than that quirky smile of yours when I correctly use the word chassis in a sentence. <laughs> I promise to build a home with you that is filled with laughter, joy, forgiveness, and dedication. I promise to grow with you and build with you a better life each day as we learn from each other to be patient, kind, giving, and to always cherish each day together. I promise my life to you, Timothy, today and forever. These are the words TJ and Megan wanted to hear the most today. <laughs> the words that take them from being engaged to being married. A marriage, as most of us understand it, is a voluntary and full commitment. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others, and it is entered into with the desire and hope that it will last a lifetime. Now, by the power vested in me by the state of Maine, I pronounce TJ and Megan to be husband and wife. TJ, you may kiss the bride. Thank you, Megan. 
Thank you everybody for attending. We appreciate it.